sunburst flowers calling on warm days over to you. Hey guys, welcome back to Southern Sister Plus One. And today what we're going to be doing is... Today it's just me, you guys. And I know, I'm really sad. I wish that Madeline and Steele were here with me because I feel super uncomfortable sitting by myself and speaking to a camera because that seems a little weird. But here we are. I posted a little story on our Instagram, which by the way, you guys should totally check out. And I asked you guys um, if you guys wanted to see the process of how we get a YouTube video up for you guys. So it's kind of a long process to be honest. It's kind of a four to five hour process altogether, which may be really short to some YouTubers and may be really long to others. I'm somewhat of a perfectionist when it comes to that though. I really do take my time. Um, hi kitty cat. A lot of this is just going to be kind of chit chatty and um, informative information. So that's what you guys asked for. Here I am. I'm giving that to you. I wrote everything down on a list of my top five reasons and tips to start a YouTube channel. All the way back to when Madeline and I started our YouTube channel. We started off just building, filming vlogs from my mom's phone and that was super fun. Nothing was really edited. I mean, you'd have little cuts between the clips, but nothing was really edited. That's a great way to start, is just use a cell phone. So I guess that will lead us into the first question, which is, do I um, invest in an expensive camera and setup, or do I stick with just an iPhone? And personally, I think that sticking with an iPhone is going to be your best option, um, at least for like the first year. Oh shoot, my car. There's a car going past me. I'm so freaking uncomfortable. Okay, anyways, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, camera or phone. So, yes, phone would probably be best for the first year um, of you starting a YouTube channel because, well, you don't want to spend a ton of money for that to be really wasted because cameras are not cheap. Not to mention the whole setup and all of that sort of stuff. We've been doing YouTube for four years, I think. Something like that. I didn't even technically get the camera for YouTube. I got the camera because I'm really into photography. If you do like it, go in with like a small vlog camera or something by Canon. You know, they have like this brand new set, like a vlog camera, a little tripod, and it's it's really nice. So that'd be something to invest in if YouTube is what you want to do. Number two is editing. I use iMovie personally. It's actually really, really easy and it's free on um, Apple products. I think it already comes on your MacBook if you have an Apple computer. So that's what I use. If you guys want a video on how I edit, um, I kind of manipulate iMovie and I try to make it look a little bit more professional like I'm not using that. And there are a few extra steps that I use to do that. But you can also use like the YouTube editing thing for a starter, really whatever. Alright, third on the list is working with siblings or filming with siblings and personally this is really really difficult for me just in general because you see I'm the oldest and I'm kind of in charge of this whole YouTube channel and I think what happens when you work with siblings is they don't understand um, how much work you personally put into it compared to what they do. When you have to come up with a video idea and you have to film it and then you have to make sure everybody's cooperating and then that's just the beginning part and then it comes to the editing and the uploading and then you're also keeping up with um, your subscribers and you're keeping your social media going. It gets very time consuming and it feels like that's all you're ever doing. It's very stressful. <laughs> so with us starting YouTube back up, I made sure to sit Madeline and steal down and if we're going to do this, I need you guys' help. So that's what I would, that would be what I recommend. Number four is a schedule or no schedule. Um, we did a schedule for a little while. I would probably say no schedule and just see what you can get out. And if you can get out a lot, then great. If you can't, that's okay too. Don't feel like you have to do that because it's not required. So I think we're going to just end it off. Oh my gosh. Oh my um, number five. They get louder every single time I talk. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh my lord! Okay guys, so I'm gonna end it on number five, and number five is basically make a list of video ideas that you have. Because if you're just sitting there with no idea what to do, it gets very difficult to um, find motivation to do it. So, this is where Madeline and Steele come in and are able to help me out, which is a great idea for you guys that are starting a new YouTube channel with your siblings. This is the list that we came up with. Um, we add on to it and we mark things off of what we've already done. Your ideas. 
We each have to come up with like five different video ideas and it goes to this list right here and it's all of our different ideas that um, will be coming up. I think I'm going to end this video here because these birds are not going to shut up and they're very loud. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see a how we edit our videos, if you guys want to see a video on how I edit our videos, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll be sure to do that. I think that can be very informative and very fun to see. And I think it's a great start to somebody that wants to start a YouTube channel. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! The sunburst flowers calling on home day.